Hi guys, so today I have two DIYs for you guys, and this is just how to reuse your old pencils so that you can use them for any clay projects. So let's just go ahead and get started. So first you're going to be needing a wooden pencil, and with your wooden pencil, you're going to go ahead and loosen out the silver part. As you can tell, it's not silver, but you kind of get the idea. Then you're going to go ahead and take out the eraser. As you can tell, I did not go in and started pushing it out because that did not work, but that doesn't mean you can't try. I'm just starting to kind of poke it out with an X-Acto knife. Then you can go ahead and shape it into any simple cookie cutter. And why simple is because it's harder to make it more detailed, but you want to be really careful because it is really sensitive metal and you don't want to rip it easily. So you want to be kind of delicate, but not too delicate either because it's, it's kind of just a normal piece of metal. Um, I guess that's the way you can call it. And don't forget on the other side to add uh, some hot glue to the border or tape to the border so that whenever you push the other side hard enough, it does not create um, any punctures on your finger because that will happen if you don't add anything on the back. Um, but I just want you to be careful whenever you're using it. DIY. So for the next tutorial, I'll be needing a needle, and you're also going to be needing a mechanical pencil. Now with the mechanical pencil, you're going to take off the cap and insert the needle with the pointy side facing downwards, and go ahead and put it in. You're going to take the cap and you're also going to be putting it back on and then start to make it come out on the other side and then you can go ahead and use it for uh, all of your clay related projects because it can help texture your charms and whenever you make it smaller you have more control over texturing it while as you make it longer you have more control over blending your clay together. <laughs> 